Interrupting me for a reason? Why you? I don't. Don't. Why? But. This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? You've made a dangerous enemy today. tough to have made it this far. It's too bad you're not going any farther. Do your worst. <laughs>
After you assemble it, I'll double check your Hey, let me take care of that for you. Expert. I like the sound of that. All done. Looks grim. Let me try something. That's a little better. Try it now.
Then maybe you ought to keep a tighter leash on his tentacles, back brain, because he's running this sector into the ground. Hey, you're back. Adana, my mom made the mistake of telling Sakwa she couldn't sell me to the huts. What are you, Sasquatch's boss or something? Whatever you say. Hey, you're back. Really? Oh. I'll go find mom. Take it.
Hey, you look like a spacer. Because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew... You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters. I'd greatly... Hey, any luck? All right, I can take that. Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? You're the one. Good. My family and I are anxious to leave, and I have the... Thank you. Here's the 500... You filthy liar. The wind in Kaven? Kawana bota yuta tanga kinama. I was on Telos for a time. Kaven, I thought you had died at Serako. Takome tak, blaia dovre kun mili was. It is a friend I have met along the way. Takome tak, blaia justing mi. Tong hite mosi jo. Monsi kuno bosh tunabu. Kawana bota yuta. Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita mungachinor ta imbrei wanachike. Drum. Dovre kun mi. Junta chivita inka kikraya na chawanga kon. I used to serve in the Mandalorian Wars. Then the Jedi Civil War crushed the Republic. Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you? Don't you work with Sakwesh? He 
They took my daughter. But I... I... Yes. I suppose that is one way we can stay together. Oh. This is terrible. This is so terrible. But I must be with Adana. Back! I am! I suppose I will die soon, anyway. Oh! Life's oh. been. Why did we do that? Why did I do that? The plague finished off Gerion. Some pressures got us hemmed in like animals. Changes. Yatuka, Uwanrika, Chokuta Yanolia, Sinta T, Cavadumpa, Mo Wendido, Chokerembi. I don't know what that witch did to you, but she's dragging you down into what. I'm only saying this because there's still a chance for you to stop. That's what you think, but it's gonna rot you. The signs are already in your face. Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits, too? I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nar Shaddaa during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come... Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out... You know what? I helped you get off, Paragus. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, well, I... I still helped you. Sort of. Maybe you shouldn't look a free Ronto in the mouth before you buy it. You know what? Not once have I asked you about- I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you. All those Jedi at Malachor? They deserved it. Every last one of them. Because Jedi lie, and they manipulate, and every act of charity or co- The galaxy doesn't need- 
At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know. Well, don't get too attached to me. It's because I'm a deserter. It's Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians. But because I followed... But it was more than that. You were there. You knew how easy it was to hate the Jedi who sat back in the Republic, evaluating the threat, and watched us die again. Because you can't believe in the Republic anymore after the Mandalorian Wars. Right after that final... The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the... You were at Serico when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the... Or without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the... We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. After Malachor, after the Mandalorian Wars, that's when the Sith teachings started spreading through the ranks. We knew where our loyalties lay. To the Jedi who... So when those same Jedi who watched us die decided to start fighting us during the Jedi Civil War, we fought back. I fought back. I started killing Jedi. A lot of them. People say killing Jedi is hard. It's not. You just have to be smart about it. No blasters, no getting close to them, no attacking them directly when you can gun down their allies instead. There's ways of gassing them, drugging them, making them lose control. What's worse is that killing them wasn't the best thing. Making them fall. Making them see our side of it. That was the best. I taught myself techniques. It's hard for Jedi to sense what you're really thinking if you throw up walls of strong emotions and feelings. Lust, impatience, cowardice. Most Jedi awareness doesn't cruise beyond the surface feelings to see what's deeper. And I was good at that, throwing up walls. And my superiors knew it. Sometimes the Jedi on our side wouldn't even realize I was there. Part of it? Maybe it was always me. It's hard to tell sometimes. I haven't known who I am for years. I wasn't the only one. I know you left at the Mandalorian Wars, so you don't know much about what went on behind the scenes in the Jedi Civil War. But Revan understood one thing. The real battle was going to be fought between the Jedi on both sides. That was the only battle that mattered. Whoever had the most, the strongest Jedi were going to win the Civil War. If Revan couldn't convert Jedi, Revan would kill them. So Revan trained elite Sith units into assassination squads, whose duty was to go out and capture enemy Jedi. I was in one of the special units trained to do this. Revan had plans for all Jedi. I think it was important that the Jedi see his side of things, the Sith teachings. Revan wanted to break them and then have them join him. One day, I decided not to do it anymore. So I left. Because you've killed Jedi too. Different circumstances. But you have a bigger body, and I've been with you only a short time. Enough to know that as soon as someone signs on with you, they haven't got long. You got history. And maybe I want somebody to know who I was in case a story needs to be set. Well, there was a woman. A Jedi. I never knew her name. She sought me out. She said she had come to save me. She was lying. She said that Revan was doing something terrible to Jedi within the unknown regions. That when we... And that anyone in his service who showed any ability with the Force was sent there too. To turn them. To break them into dark... She said that's what would happen to me. That I had the Force inside me. That's why I was so good at killing Jedi. And that when the Sith learned of it, there would be no escape. No turning back. I had heard talk in the ranks. Troops vanishing. I... I did what I did with all Jedi. I hurt her. I hurt her a lot. And then, right when I thought she couldn't take any more, she showed me the Force. And I felt everything she felt. 
and I, I think I loved her, but it wasn't that kind of love. Maybe. I killed her for crawling in my head, for showing me that. And at the end, I killed... In the end, she sacrificed herself to kill... And I felt her die when she opened her mind. I've killed Jedi, like I said. And after that, I couldn't stop feeling things. Before, guilt, lust, impatience. So I left. I fled with the disp... And then, I met... And I thought, maybe, maybe... I didn't want to tell you any of this, but I had to. Because if something ha- Once, a Jedi showed- At the time, there was too much pain to confront- Now, I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I think that by learning how to use it, I want to learn how to use the- What must I do? Is there some- Some ritual? Or- Yes, General. Sorry, General. Some. If you want to find out what's going on, talk to me soon. Yeah, 
Finished off, Gary. -o. Another refugee? I'm sad to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband. What? Lutra's here? Please. Oh, you wicked soul. You taunt me with false hope, rebuild my life, then shatter it. Just leave me be. Welcome, traveler. My name's Husef. I try to look out for the other refugees. You wiped out all of the Serico on your own? <laughs> Impressive. You've made things easier for us around here. You're right. There's no hope left for us. I will speak with the Overseer. Just leave me be. Back again? Is there anything I can do for you? 